of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. You are being deployed to Germany. At 1900 hour Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. Central, this is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby.
Central. You getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first. Let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Advance to the vehicle nearby. Delta 2, your turn. Move up to the debris. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Delta 3, move to that vehicle dead ahead. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. Delta 4, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double time it. Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Valen, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Or what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is. But I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. Delta 2. That door's in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy, Delta-3. Okay, everyone. 
Get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. Delta-3, move in and disarm him. Carefully. Delta One is down. Central, we're taking fire for multiple X-rays. This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire. Damn it, Delta Two, your flank too. Find some better cover. All right, Delta Two, weapons free. Get ready to fire. Delta 4, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Get ready for their counterattack. Look out, Delta Four. There's another one coming in behind you. Damn it. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. Central, I think that's it. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction.
Affirmative. We are coming home. Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Welcome to XCOM HQ, commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. Commander, the soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher, in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Commander to mission control. Commander to it mission sounds control. like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make.
Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. Mission site setting down. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Hold on, soldier. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. Reveal your position to the enemy. Okay. Now take cover inside. Alright. Now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. your fire until I give the word.
Commander will be assuming command now as you sweep the rest of the area. As always, I'll be offering tactical advice as needed. And remember, your armor can only withstand a couple of shots from their weapons, so keep your eyes open and your heads down. Good luck. Okay, soldier. But another one like that, and that'll be the end of you. Make sure to stay in cover. Damn, that was close! Commander, our veteran's rocket launcher should make easy work of the structure the aliens are using for cover. And if we're lucky, it'll take out the aliens along with it. That is, if it hits. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately.
The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the Council. Hello, Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. We realize you were faced with a difficult decision in responding to the various requests for assistance. Regardless, you performed admirably. As agreed upon, the reward for your actions has been granted. Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. The Council knows you made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, there's only so much we can do. However, our Chief Engineer did come up with something to help you keep an eye on things. The Situation Room is ring of every member nation in the Council. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the Council. Then they'll take their funding and additional support with them. The Council's overall confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen, which Engineering has nicknamed the Doom Tracker. Commander to Mission Control. Commander to Mission Control. Commander, Dr. Vallen reports that research is progressing in the labs but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Commander. Schematics for the scope targeting system are complete. They have been sent to engineering. Commander, with this research complete, my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens, we must understand their physiology. Thank you, Commander. I will let you know when this research has been completed. It appears Dr. Shen's staff have finally figured out how to turn their machines on. Commander to Engineering. Commander to Engineering. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to Engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication.
Fabrication of the scope device is complete. It has been delivered to the armory. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. New items and weapons from engineering will always be delivered directly to the armory, Commander. Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. Commander, the Council has requested a word. Hello, Commander. We require your assistance with a unique matter. We expect that you will give it the same level of attention as you would for any other project objective. One of the captives abducted by the aliens has somehow managed to escape. If you could retrieve this woman, she may have valuable insight into the alien's operation. We'll transmit the coordinates now. Farewell, Commander. We know you will not disappoint us. Sounds like we better get to it. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. You're looking for an Anna Singh, the only person known to have escaped from alien captivity. Our mission is to locate her somewhere on that block and get her out of there. Take note of the extraction zone, people. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate evac. human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis.
of that. and gone. Confirmed.
Nailed him. There's just so many of them. They're everywhere. We have to get out of here! Commander, we should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. who you are, but I'd probably be dead right now if you hadn't shown up. Strike one. We've got a wave of x-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. They had so many bodies in there. I just don't understand it.
Enemy forces headed your way, Strike One. Get ready. Commander, good news. The Council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately.
With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Bridge now available over Canada. Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need in order to house the alien captive. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Commander, I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. With your authorization, we can begin research on the Arc Thrower immediately.
Commander to Mission Control. Commander to Mission Control. Commander, we're picking up widespread radio chatter indicating UFO sightings within our current satellite coverage area. We should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible. paid off. We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. on the bandit. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike One is authorized to assault the alien craft. Looks like the crash site is dead ahead. We should expect heavy resistance here. There's no telling how many hostiles were on board. Approach the craft with caution and attempt a breach if possible.
the target. craft is still intact. They've got some kind of energy field protecting parts of the ship. We'll have to look for an opening. Stand an impact like that, at such a velocity. The materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of.
eyes on our regions target. can't be right. If there were, that's a being of almost pure energy. The readings coming from that creature are like nothing I've ever seen. You can study it when it's dead, Doctor. Let's take that thing down. It seems to have vanished. Like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Welcome back, Commander. I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts, and it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> 